idea of podcasting with Moat in Google Slides for the purpose of fostering student creativity with and through audio. So as we all know, podcasting in the classroom is a creative outlet that us educators can leverage to allow students to share their thinking or tell a unique story or express their perspective through the creative use of audio. And traditionally, podcasting is a relatively complex and often a multi-step process but that requires not only planning for content but a comfort level with capturing audio editing and publishing and for some technical process may be too great a barrier um, to provide students with the opportunity to express themselves through audio so moat in google slides is the ideal solution that allows students to create micro podcasts. So instead of getting bogged down with the technical barriers by using Moat in 90 second audio clips to act as the single podcasting tool, the barrier to entry for classroom creation is lowered, increasing accessibility for all students to create. And Moat with Google can definitely do this. So the concept of podcasting with Moat is a little bit different than traditional podcasting. And we want to clearly differentiate what Moat uh, podcasting with Google Slides looks like as to compare with traditional podcasting. I think the two primary ideas that we might want to focus on is that Moat podcasting with Google Slides allows you to remove technical barriers. So you won't get into uh, editing or high-end and complex audio production. So it's really having to focus on students sharing their ideas in a really familiar space like Google Slides and bringing out those ideas for others to listen to. Uh, moving, uh, moving forward, the questions are, why podcasting and why podcasting with Moat? So here's a question that I really want to address. Uh, unlike traditional podcasting environment where there's advanced editing, uh, there's longer episodes that run from anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes, 30 minutes, or even longer an episode. Um, we're going to talk about smaller micro podcasting in a familiar environment like Google Slides with the premium version of Moat students, learners, and educators can add 90-second audio clips into Google Slides. So as opposed to traditional podcasting environment where there's one very long edited audio, we're just going to connect one audio clip to the next in sequence in order to build up an episode or concept which learners are going to explore. And again, uh, traditional podcasting versus micro-podcasting. Obviously, we're looking into shorter episode length. Second, uh, there's no editing, so we don't need to worry about po uh, post-production. There's no subscribing, so we don't need to worry about pushing this into the global podcasting space or environment and have some someone uh, subscribe. So we will simply share the link of the final product when we're done. Uh, so distribution will come in the form of a published set of Google Slides. And if some has that published set of Google Slides, they can revisit the show and everything will be very organized and convenient since it's clickable to get to one episode to another. Another point is that we can actually decide if it's public or private. Uh, since our learners are publishing in a Google Slides environment, they can actually decide if they will publish it in the global stage through the web or simply share it to the class or to the teacher. And um, one last point here, uh, and one of the most important, is that this environment, micro-podcasting in Google Slides, allows for collaboration. So multiple students in one group can be in the same environment at once. Uh, one classmate can record an audio snippet, and the other could also record. And they can go in sequence in order to build the process of the show or that of an episode. Now that we have the general concept, we get now the chance to jump into this template provided by Moat and start to explore what the setup is going to be like when we want our students to create a micro podcast in Google Slides. So let me now open up this template okay, so that we can get started and show you how you can navigate, add audio, and build out the show and publish this when, when done. Okay, so Let me just open this one. Okay. 
So let me just open this. And again, this template is a ready, uh, ready to go template, which we could um, edit and share to our uh, students as well. So here it is. Let me just let me just stop sharing for a while. Okay, sharing. Okay. So here we are in this template for Moat Micro Podcasting with Google Slides. Uh, a huge shout out to our friends from Moat and to Greg Kulovich for providing this template. Uh, so let me walk through you in the layout of this template and explain how this whole template works. So now you can see here that we have a slide that really acts as a homepage or a landing page for your micro podcast. So provided here uh, is an eight episode project that learners can work on. Uh, this could be distributed into one group of students, or you might make a copy of this and distribute it to three to four students, and they might want to make all eight episodes. Or you can go a little bit bigger, have a single template collaborat collaboratively worked on by the whole class where you might have three or four students working on one episode, or each class might take one episode. So basically, uh, the flexibility of this template, again, rests on the teacher. All of the content here is linked. So if we're done and publish this out, one can simply click and they'll be brought to that particular episode slide. Uh, they can also click on the number on the left, which will take them on the particular slide for that episode as well. So uh, we have this. Uh, template an eight episode project build out, but you can always expand this template by creating more placeholder slides if you wanted to create or add more episodes. You could also move the columns on the landing page, adjust it and add episodes nine through 12. So basically, all of the um, episodes here are all linked and the kids or our learners could give their um, individual episode titles as well as episode description. So um, I think the flexibility of this template, again, um, through collaborative work between um, our students, they could really create this micro podcasting episodes um, all on their own by using Moat. OK, so with that, Let's jump in into this slides, which acts as a home base for each episode. So basically, as you can see here on the template, you'll notice that each episode slide is built out exactly the same. So we have a section for the show's description where they can add a little bit of an introduction or an overview of the whole episode. And a space where they can add notes and resources or links to external resources as well. Now, since we are working with Moat and Google Slides, and we are kind of progressing in a way that we are approaching podcasting in a new direction, you'll notice here that Moat uh, built here three columns representing the episode flow. So it's already um, pre-programmed. Um, the, the template itself is pre-programmed. And all of our students uh, will do is just follow this uh, flow. In the first column, as you can see, uh, that's where the students will introduce the show and the concept, which they will be talking about by adding 90 second moat audio clips. Then in the subsequent boxes, um, they could then post a question focusing on the episode concept. And then we have here a space for a question reply and then another space for another question reply in that first column. And then you can see here that it's connected. As you can see, there are um, there is a line segment there um, connecting the fourth box into the uh, transitioning slide to concept two. And again, they can just follow uh, the same flow 
Um, they can present the concept. Number two, present the question that is related to concept two and have two rounds of 90 secondary audios for students to reply. Um, again, guys, what's great about this is that students are now expected to concisely and effectively explain their thinking both on the question, on the concept, or the reply in 90 seconds. So they have to do some legwork, really, to prepare to figure out um, what they are going to talk about in that limited amount of time. And that's the challenge, right? And oftentimes, it's that case where uh, we provide constraints, most especially to the time and space where they are working, that kind of acts um, as a benefit of allowing them really to think more creatively on how they might explain uh, their thinking, right? So I think they will be asking the question, how I might be able to explain myself um, in, in that limited amount of time and then um, as you can see it's it's uh, divided in snackable portions so uh, the kids won't be uh, won't be really overwhelmed by the tasks being given but the challenge is there right how they might be creative uh, how they might be able to creatively express themselves in 90 second time limit and again as you can see we can transition to concept number three Present the driving question. Right. Hello, Les. Creativity comes from constraint. Exactly. That's what I have learned from the Virtual Innovators Academy. Exactly. Yes. Um, there. Um, transition to concept three. Uh, present the driving question based on that concept. Have a reply and then have another reply in closing. And voila, right? You now have an entire show built out. Okay, so um, as I have said, I would like to reiterate this. Um, this template makes it more snackable for, uh, for uh, you know, their target audience. If their target audience are their classmates, then basically um, these classmates would be able to go through an episode um, in just a short amount of time, right? And um, what's interesting about this is that... Um, as less as put it there, creativity comes from the constraint. And through that process, through that constraints, um, we are building into, um, uh, into these kids um, creativity through that process. And basically, um, in the Virtual Innovators Academy or even in the, uh, in the in-person Innovators Academy that you have attended before and you have been a part of, um, Creativity comes from those limitations, really, right? Now, um, so basically, if we need to publish this, we could um, actually go um, through the process of publishing these slides as well. Um, basically, they could go uh, public about this um, project if you want the class to share the project um, in, in a greater audience or with a greater audience or... Um, as we put it, we could make these projects um, a private one where um, our kids uh, are, are just the ones who are uh, sharing their ideas, um, putting their ideas out there in their, um, uh, in their episode templates as well. Okay, so now um, let me show you at this point, I still have a little, a little bit of six minutes. Uh-huh. So let me just, again, creativity comes from constraints. So I'm now in, <laughs> in that position. So let me just stop presenting for a while. Okay. Uh-huh. So we will now be going back to this. Okay. Let's try. Let's try. Let me show you how, we, uh, how you could do this as well. Okay. Now, hopefully it's there. Okay. Now, um, for example, we are now on episode two, and um, you start on the clean slate. So this is a, a, um, a general template. It's a blank template, so we'll be starting off with that. So make sure, teachers, guys, let's just make sure that moat, the moat extension there um, has already been loaded into Google Slides, or it has been um, 
install there. So when we click on this one, basically you'll just click on the icon for moot and you start recording, right? So, so if you click on that, the recording immediately starts. Okay, there's a little bit of lag on that. Okay, let's uh, just wait. Five minutes, five minutes, time constraints, creativity. Okay. Uh, anyway, now, um, if you have finished recording, for example, this icon now appears. And you can just put it there. You can make the icon large enough for your kids to see, for them to press. And then you can just um, put it there and add a little bit of description if you want. You can erase this uh, preloaded um, description there and you can put um, maybe a welcome message for everyone. So welcome, our episode one. A quick introduction. Quick episode introduction for this episode on volcanoes, for example. So you just put it there and then we're right there. It's that quick, right? So basically, they just need to fill in all of those um, boxes there and uh, what's really important here is the, um, what you call this, is the connection between um, the things that we are putting into the template. For example, we need um, an introduction for the concept number one and then proceed to presenting the concept there, uh, a number one question, and then the reply. So basically, um, you just put it there. You can erase this one. And then the kids will just need to put these icons and um, there. Arrange it in a way that's um, quite presentable for our template. Okay. Now. Okay. So basically, you have built the first um, concept a row there. And then um, I would like to take note as well that you, the kids or you as a teacher could also put notes or some resources or links to resources here um, pertaining to the episode uh, number one topic that you have um, conducted for that particular uh, episode template. Now, I still have like around two minutes, so I'll just show you how you will be able to publish this. So let's find, okay, let me just first, okay. Okay, now, you might be able to share this with others here in the share uh, icon here. Uh, there are two options. You can share this with others through a link or publish this to a web to reach uh, um, a wider audience, okay? So if we click on this, share with others, the system will generate a link for your group. It could be a restricted one or anyone with the link. So basically, um, since it's just um, with a limited people within that circle, you can add their emails here, or we can go big and publish this in the web. And you just need to click on share and then click on publish to web. And um, right there, yeah, right? So you can just start slideshow as soon as the player loads. There are options there that you need to, um, that you need to uh, consider or you can just copy 
uh, this link or share this link using um, Gmail, Facebook, or Twitter. Or even you can embed this in your Google sites and at some point in other uh, blogging um, websites as well. So basically, guys, thank you very much for listening to me. I know that 20 minutes, it's such a short time to present this um, very wonderful um, topic. Thank you, Ken. Thank you, Jennifer. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is my first time, actually. So, yes. Um, yeah. Okay. I'll try to ask Andy to share with you the link for this template, and I'm sure your kids will really love um, creating their micro podcast with this. Thank you, Les. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. Bye, everybody. Thank you.